multiplied. He is the great I am. He is your provider. He is your everything. He won battle for you that you cannot fight. Hallelujah. He is the mighty warrior. Father, we thank you. We praise your name. We lift your name higher. Let your glory be the place. Father God, that we in your presence, Lord. Bless us, Father God. Empower us, Father God. Thank you, Jesus, for your mercy in abundance. Thank you, Jesus, for your favor. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Hallelujah. I want us to pray for the man of God before it's the COVID. Hallelujah. Let's pray for the man of God. Father God, thank you for the man of God life. Cover him with the blood of Jesus. Father God, continue to protect him and guide him, Lord. As he come back to give us the word, let the word of God bless the people in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we are prayed. Let's welcome the head bishop, Dr. Shaka Manzure. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you connect this for me, please? Thank you, Jesus. As they'll get the connection going, let us lift our hands. Father, we bless your name. We thank you. Mighty God, we bless your name. We thank you. Lord, we're asking for fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Release fresh anointing over this atmosphere. Release fresh anointing over your children's life. Release fresh anointing. Thank you, Father, for the fresh anointing that you're going to release. The fresh anointing that's going to change life. The fresh anointing that, that, that we are going to jump over to a new year. Thank you, Father, for all that you have done from January to this wonderful December. And Lord, you brought us back in full circle. And Lord, only to launch us out again to a new beginning. Father, we bless your name. We thank you for this oil that what you have done from this week in the beginning, you brought us back again to this Sunday to fulfill the seventh day of Shalom's week. Father, we say thank you. We thank you for all that you are going to do the next one coming. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Somebody thank the Lord for a minute. Let's thank the Lord. Amen. Please, you may sit down. Please, you may sit down. Right? <laughs> Hallelujah. All right. It will be a little bit too loud, but I'm sure you will be able to understand. Okay, that's good. That's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, for all of us, we are excited because I know some people, they are looking forward to crossover. You know, that that's... Uh, I hope you'll be here, crossover. Uh -huh. Amen. Amen. I'm excited. Um, we started with the with Shalom's week last Sunday. If you were here last Sunday, we started. It was amazing. Amen. And uh, it's going to be amazing also today. Praise the living God. You know, it's always the beginning and the ending that God always do the final outpour. Praise the living God. And um, God is going to help us today. In Jesus' name. We had a great time where we were able to discuss about the different things that God had placed before us. We talked about the work of faith, that you're able to be empowered and God can empower you in ways you don't even know. There are many people in this life, they think that they are the one doing what they're doing. It's because of their favor or their strength. Do me if you say neighbor, it's not even about you. They say you don't even have it. People think that it's their strength. It's not your strength. It is God's doing. Amen. So we started up to discuss the opening last week, and we talked about how to overcome. Today, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out from the previous messages 
each one, maybe I'll give you two scriptures from each one. God willing, maybe one or two scriptures for each one. Then we're able to get done faster. And we can have a small talk and design the house. Because there's not much to say to you. If you, if you say I need to say to you, I've, I should have said it from January last year all the way down to December. <laughs> Hallelujah. And so um, those of you who are here who have the keys in the altar, you, you make sure you get all your keys here. It must be taken from this altar. Even if they're not here, we'll pack it in a, in a plastic bag for them. Amen. And then we'll wait until they come. But you will not be here for crossover. This altar will be completely cleared, including um, the items here as well. will be completely cleared. Amen. We want to cross over with clear mind. Somebody say clear mind. We want to cross over with clear mind. Praise the living God. So what's going to happen today, I'm going to give you five levels of discussion. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Number one, we're going to talk about overcoming affirmia. Overcoming affirmia means overcoming abundance. You understand? Overcoming abundance. You understand me? We'll talk about how do you overcome, uh, 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 overcome with abundance. Number two, how do you walk into your new level called visitation for abundance? God is able to give you what you're asking for, but how do you get what you're, what you're asking for? All right? How do you walk into Aphemia? The power of faith inside Aphemia. How do you understand Aphemia? And also, we're going to pray for impartation. Just, just so you know, all those things will be imparted into it. All right? We're just going to call all that the, the abundant inside abundant. I didn't get a message that will preach in the end because the end was yesterday. Hallelujah. That was the end. Today is just to close the door. You know, when you enter your, your house, there's that, that first door. Then you enter to the house as a second door. So this is the this this is the after we already closed that first, this is the second door just to close and say we're, we're, we're heading to another level of 2020 24 ahead of us. Praise the living God. Now I want to give you a little bit about what is what is Aphamia, which which is abundance, just you know. Let's look, look at in the book of 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9. 1 Corinthians 2, verse 9, please. If we can stand up to read the word, it will be so much better for us. Let's, what do we go? So your responsibility is just to love God. Please sit down. It is just for you to love God. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, right? And no heart have, the heart of man, right? Imagine. So the heart of man have, have not imagined what God is getting ready to do for you, right? So if the heart of man cannot even come up with an idea. So God says, what I'm about to do to you in this, in this season of your life? Nobody know about it. And thank God that nobody knows about what God wants to do in your life because if they find out what he has for you, ah, Jesus. Even if they go and find out to another prophet, the prophet will mislead them. Come on now. Come on now. You, you didn't catch that. Even if they go and find different prophets to find the information, they will be misled because what God has declared in his word, he says, what no eyes have seen so, so it, it, it doesn't matter who have seen it, it will not be as correct for them. Yeah. What no, what he said, no ears have heard. That means that they have not had the ears of faith to hear that revelation that, that God is telling what's going to happen in their life. So, all you need to do is say, Lord, I love you, yeah. and my battles are about to be solved. Yeah. Somebody, you. <laughs> You, you are a champion already because you, 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 you come here. That's, that's the revelation for you there. Right? Look what it says here in the book of Isaiah 64. 64 verse 4. For ancient time, no one has heard. From ancient time. That means that before you were even born. Right? From of old, no one has heard, nor perceived by hearing. 
That is what God is going to do. We are confirming it because this is what God said in his word. We don't, we don't, we don't play here with the word. He said, what I'm about to give to you from old. That means that, guess what? In the lineage of your family bloodline, God has not favored those who in that bloodline to give them what he's about to give you. But he picked you to give it to you because somehow in that bloodline, you are more faithful than the ones who have come in the past. Watch this here. You are more walking in the righteous path than those who were in the past. God is not looking for everybody in that family bloodline. He's looking for somebody in that family that will rise up. Many are called what? Many are called what? So many came to that bloodline, but guess what? As for you, you are the one chosen. You are the one chosen. You are chosen for what God wants to do that is beyond your perception. Praise the living God. I want you to have this in mind. Imagine the day the tree, the tree was, the seed was planted in the ground. When that tree was planted, who watered that tree? Nobody watered that tree. But yet God sent rain. God watered the, the, the ground. The ground began to come up. The roots began to spread. Time began to go. I mean, guess what? What God wants to do in your life, there are times when he puts you down. He makes you go through struggle. Oh, Jesus. Because for anything that produces fruit must have roots. If you don't produce, you see, let me tell you, everyone here has gone through something. It is your struggle that is the root. When people challenge you, tell them, you, you know how strong I am. Have you ever tried to try to pull something from the ground? What happened? It is the roots, right? It's more harder for you to you have to. Someone will try to pull you from the roots. They will be pulling God, and then somehow God will cause something to happen to them. In the name of Jesus. Yes, because they will try to root out great things. They will try to prophesy things over your head. It will not work. Don't you know the battle where where Goliath was fighting? was fighting David. In every family, there's a David. Be it male or female. Now, let me make that clear. It is a name that changes, but it's a spirit. In every family, there's a Samson. In, in, and also, what is it? In every family, there's a Delilah. <laughs> oh, you, you don't understand. Yes, they are, they are. They are. You know who they are too in your family? Who, who are the Delilahs in your family? Yeah, that one, that one is not even like that one is right there. Is this one? This one here is a Delilah. <laughs> and, and also, watch this here. In the same family, you can tell who are the what the Judas. You know, you know that, that your sister is a Judas. Yes, and that your your auntie too. She's a Delilah. It's right there. She's not gonna hide it now, because some spirit nowadays they don't hide anymore. They become what they say they are. <laughs> Somewhere by that revelation, you're blessed. In the book of Genesis 15, verse 1, we talk about this one on the first day. Genesis 15, verse 1, it talks about how God wants to bless Abraham. And sometimes when God wants to give you abundance in your life, he makes things so hard for you to see them. Can you see, can you see when, when there's rain? Can you see past the, the rain? No, you can't. It's the same thing in your life during the storm. You can't see. The, the storm is going on. And you, there's, there's hailing. Oh, Jesus. Right? There is thundering. That means that when you are going through the storm in your life, get ready for some noises that you never expected to happen. But you have the power in your own mouth. Life and death are in the power of who? Of what? Of what? Of your tongue. So all you need to do is tell that, that situation, be still, I have dominion over you. Your amen sound like you don't even know. Amen. There are some things you need to tell say, I have dominion. Declare to say, I have dominion. You see, you're quiet. I don't think you're ready. Okay, okay, rise up with me. Stand up with me. If you're, not in, you're not in kindergarten school. You're in the house of God. Say, I have dominion. Say, everyone here declare. Say, I have dominion. I have dominion. 
over the things of the hair and the things of the land. You have dominion. Said as for me and my household, we are dominating. We are winning without stress. Jesus. Please, you may sit down. And the Bible says, says, after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abraham in a vision. Somebody here, God will give you a vision by the time you live here. He said, there was a vision that came. Say, fear not, Abraham, I am your shield. So I say, I have a shield. The Lord says, I am your shield and your reward shall be very great. God said, is going to give you a reward very great. If you believe it, your amen will be louder. Amen. Your reward will be very great. Amen. Your reward will be very great. Amen. Now watch this here. Watch this here. When it was said on the first day, many people didn't catch the revelation there. It says, it, said, it came by a vision. It said, fear not. That means that you don't have to fear what people are doing against you. Don't fear. He said, fear not. Now, when you say Abraham, because you are part of Abrahamic seed, just put your name there. Fear not, Shaka. Put your name on that. Put your name on that. Put your name on it. Put your name on it. He said, fear not. Then God said, I am your shield. That means that whatever they send against you, God said, I'm protecting you. God's word, I'm protecting you. He said, I am your shield, right? And guess what he says? Not only am I your shield, he said, what they are fighting you for, there's a reward for you. That's what they are fighting you. Oh, Shanda Daba. Zikodomo Zikita. Anytime you come under a fight, it means that somebody wants to reward you. Can I talk to somebody here? I feel the anointing. Help me, Lord. The moment there was a fight between, you know, David and Goliath. Jesus. Sometimes people will come together to gang up against you, but they forget that even they gang up against you, you are still a David. Oh, you didn't catch that. Didn't the Bible said that you look at this, re this revelation here. I know, my son. I know. Your tongues are very passionate. Very passionate. Hallelujah. So we, we looked at Revelation here. Goliath had his own army. Goliath had his own army. That was not good enough. Then now they have Goliath. You are saying, how come there's so much against me? The people are plenty against me. But now, because there are plenty against you, all you need to do is believe in your God. All you need to do is what? It doesn't matter if you're young or you're old because God said, believe in me. Say, fear not. Say, all you need to do is pull fear away from it. David did not have fear in his eyes. He didn't have fear in his heart because he knew who was with him. Can I ask somebody here? Do you know who's with you? Do you know who's with you? What's his name? What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. What's his name? Jesus. Many years ago, I went. I, I came under a severe attack of a witchcraft arrow in Sierra Leone. Yes, there the arrow was released. I just finished preaching, and I just finished checking some people who need to be checked by the power of the Holy Ghost that was moving in prophecy. And then they send the arrow. I went like this. I thought I was going to go. I saw my life going. Then I heard the Spirit of God said, say my name. No, I was not listening to Destiny Child. <laughs> <laughs> but when I heard him say, say, say my name, I said, Jesus. I jumped back to life. And they were all amazed who were around me. I said, all of you, get away from me. I want my wife here. You are going to jerk back a life in everything that they're taking from you. Yeah. I said, you're going to jerk back a life to everything they're taking from you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, whoever is sending arrows upon you, they never know that you have a father who sent the shield. Yeah. As they send the arrow, the shield will block it. Yeah. 
And guess what? As the arrow is blocked, God said, I have a reward for them. I have a reward for them. He didn't say I have a reward for you. He has a reward for you already. He's stashed already, but he has a reward for them. Can I prophesy? Those who attack you, God will attack them. Those who aim to disgrace you, God will disgrace them. Those who said you will not prosper, God will make them become poverty. In the name of Jesus. Listen, this is this, this, this what the word said. So, so David did not believe in what he saw. <laughs> he did not believe in what he saw. Because he could have believed that hey, these people are here to harm him. He looked at the soldiers around him and said, look at all these soldiers. They're here to, to, to kill me. Me, I'm a small boy. But David says, the king has a reward for me. Saul has a reward for him. You know what the reward was? Money and a wife. Do you understand that? David said, listen, <laughs> there's money for me and a wife. Ah, Goliath, even if not for the wife, but for the money, your head will go down. <laughs> and, he, and right there, David turned off all the voices. And watch, I have a very, a very word for somebody here. On the way going to face Goliath, there was a mantle that David had to reject. You cannot take your father's mantle to a war that your father could not win. You cannot take a mantle that your mother could not win. God is calling you to use a special mantle. A special mantle must be put on you to fight a special fight. There are some members in your family who cannot fight the fight that God has called you to fight. They are supposed to be spectators. In this game of life, there are those who are in the stands, and there are those who also coach, and there are those who also play. Some people are not meant to play, they're meant to watch. It's up to you to declare, let them watch while I play. Yes. Oh, you didn't catch a revelation here. Somebody, by the time you live here, huh, your head will be on fire. Because there are some people who have been playing games on you, then they put you on the bench. But yeah, you're the best player of your family. Yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody say, I overturn. Say, I overturn. I will not sit while they manipulate. They will be sitting in the chair while I deal with this devil. Now, if you, if you look at it right, David, David had to confront his own brothers too. The people you have to confront first when you want to be prosperous are the people in your own bloodline. Oh, Jandara. <laughs> you didn't catch that one. David's brother said, you are not worthy to do this. All the other ones said, look at you. You're not even worthy to even stand against this thing. Listen, listen. Can I prophesy to somebody here? Those who said that you're not worthy, they have not seen your God. Amen. Jesus. They have not seen what? Your God. And the moment now, David is, is, is that is, is looking and said, look, I'm going to let you talk. I'm going to bypass you. But the what? And the moment David's brother was talking, everything, he said, go home. David says, yeah, I'm going home. And he went around and he just bypassed them. And now he, he talked to the king. He said, king, I'm here to fight the battle. King said, ah, you? All of David's brother, they were sitting in the corner. They, they, they cannot even speak to the king because they stand on the corner. Somebody, there are some people that need to stand on the corner while they watch you do work. Are you understanding me? So right there, David knew his time has come. When your time has come, you cannot let people make decisions over you. It is your decision over them. Amen. You didn't catch revelation there. David knew that no family member could make a decision over him. It wasn't his brothers could make a decision over him. In fact, it wasn't the lion or the bear. He disciplined all of them. And he took dominion. When God wants you to be at the top, he don't want you to listen to nobody else but him. Stop listening to people who are your friends. They don't advise you. One thing that I always say in this church, I never understand how married people listen to people who are single. Don't listen to single people. They don't have sense. 
That one is still uno. They are one. They forget that one day when they become two, they become one again. You catch revelation when you mature. So there, David said, I need to become one. This one, they're still single. You didn't understand that. So now, automatically, God has to now say, David, a wife is waiting for you and an establishment is waiting for you. David was looking to become one. Yet, he had his brothers who are still single. When your time comes for God to show you who you need to connect to, don't look at me, don't look at nobody's face, just go say, I do. Something will be done secretly. <laughs> Some things must be done what? So David knew it was a blessing on him. And he used different weapon, different armor. Different weapon, different, and he went to battle. And the Bible said that he took the head of Goliath. No matter what Goliath said against him, there are some words that become a curse over your head. Thus declare, they can hang there, but they will never fall here. Amen. Oh, you didn't catch the revelation there. Yes. Say they will hang there, but they will never fall here. That means all the words that Goliath was saying against David, they were just hanging. Because the one that gave the fun, when I say this one right here, I want you to high-five a neighbor. When I say the word, I want you to high-five a neighbor. The moment the words were set in heaven, there's a judge that sits upon the heaven. What's his name? Jesus. That is the one that passed the law. That is the one that passed the verdict. That is the one that passed the verdict. And the moment you just high-five your neighbor, guess what just happened to your life? You just tell that person that you agree that that what they said against you should not be on you, should be on them. Amen. Oh, your high-five now would make, make more sense. Your high-five now would make more sense. Automatically, the moment now, David said, I'm ready for this battle because I know I'm not the one fighting. He that is in you is greater than he that's in the world. And the battle began. And the Bible said, David, prepare his, his weapon. Sometimes if you don't have a mouth to speak, have a smooth stone. Just have a stone. David prepared his stone. And he released the stone. And by the time we understand the revelation there, Goliath fell. When Goliath fell, all the people that was, that was standing by him, they were talking. They were was, they was like, come on, Goliath, come on, Goliath. What happened to them? They all departed. They all left him. Can I tell you something? There are people who should be supporting you. They refuse to support you. They go and support your enemy. Then when you disappear your enemy now, they are running away from you. They are running away from you. Say, thank God they are running. 2024, those who stand against you, they'll be running. Amen. They'll be running in the name of Jesus. Amen. They'll be running. They'll be running. They have to run. Because they don't run, they, they, cannot, they cannot win. They can never win. Are we together? Praise the living God. So how do we enter now to a new level that God is saying that you are going to be who he had planned you to be? How do you overcome struggles with abundance? How do you overcome the struggle that is ahead of you? Amen. There's a story that comes to mind, 2 Kings 2, 2 Kings 4, 2 Kings 4, verse 2, going down to 7. Amen. I want to tell the story a little bit as we go by. Now, there is a now a prophet of God who have come into the house. There's a struggle in this family. And the family have been struggling because they don't have no more money. Money had been scarce. I know some people didn't know how that feels. If anybody has have plenty of money, raise your hand. You don't have plenty of money. Stand by faith. Stand by faith. Stand by faith and claim plenty of money. Stand by faith and say, I have plenty of money. Yes. Because I just declare a prophet is in the house. You still say you don't have money. You have, you have money. You have money. Praise God. The Bible says, it said, it said that Elijah said unto her, what shall I do for you? If a prophet does not prophesy to you, he must ask, what shall I do for you? Right? He said, tell me, what have you in this house or in the house? What do you have? What do you have in the house? 
God is never looking outside to bless you. He's looking inside. And when you look outside, it means abundance has come. And guess what? When the woman said that she has nothing, then now God has to look outside. When you have nothing, you have at least neighbors. And the Bible says, it says, what have you, it said, what, what do you have in the house? Says, and she said, she said, your servant has nothing in the house except a jar of oil. Somebody say, our partnership. Our partnership. There's a partnership grace with me. A grace. With those who will come and help me. And those who I will help. Look what it says in verse 3. Verse 3. Let's go. Verse 3. It says, then he said, go outside. Borrow vessels from all your neighbors. He said, go get these things. Go get this thing for your neighbors. I told you, right? You will partner with other people. And you will partner with what? Yourself and other people, right? So now he said, go get this thing for, for, your, for your neighbors. He says, then they went and get empty vessels. And they came. Verse 40. Go, go ahead and four. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Verse 4, let's go. It says, then go in and do what? Shut the door behind yourself and your sons and pour into all the vessels, all the vessels. And when one is full, set it up. When you are blessed, be quiet. Uh-oh. When breakthrough coming to your family, be quiet. Don't talk too much. Don't call your sister. Don't call your brother. Don't call people. The same people you call are the same people that want to backstab you. In fact, they will be envious because they want what you want. In fact, let me say it clear. They want what you have. Continue. Verse 5. It's going to make some sense real quick. So when, he says, so she went from him and shut the door. She followed instruction. She went and fought, shut the door and she began to pour into the vessels. Continue. Continue verse 6. He said, when the vessels were what? Uh huh. She said to her son, bring. Uh huh. So now there's been abundance already. They have gotten all that they asked for surrounding them. But it says, see, the prophetic word says, can I give you so much more revelation here? We missed it the first one. We're going to get it again. It said the first time that she should. Not trust the son to give the revelation. But guess this, guess what? The prophet was, go to your neighbors. It never tells you the extent of your neighbors. Your neighbors can be two miles out. Ten miles out. They'll see your neighbor. You see, say in the name of Jesus. From where I'm at. In the place where I live. 10, 20 miles radius. Surrounding. 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 I will see. I will see. I will see. My favor. I will see. My breakthrough. I will see. My abundance. I will see it. In the name of Jesus. Say, I will see it. I will not be stopped. In the name of Jesus. So shall it be. So now you need to go beyond. Continue verse 7, where, where we'll rest. This is how you overcome struggles to enter into abundance. The woman says she has nothing. No money, but all she has was oil. She went to just having oil. The oil that she has was increased. One of the most powerful things is that it says, as the woman's pouring, the oil never stopped pouring. That's where the miracle comes. I prophesy. There will be miracle abundance of things that your heart is asking God for. Amen. There will be a miracle abundance of things that your heart is asking God for. Amen. It shall come to pass. Amen. Because as the oil was being poured, it did not stop. And the Bible said that as it was poured, more poured, more poured, more poured, every vessel was filled. It was a supernatural encounter. I prophesy. When the enemy said that you were going to financial str struggle, you will not enter there. Amen. Because as you are going from January all the way to December, you are counting breakthroughs upon breakthroughs. Amen. You are counting financial increase upon financial increase. Amen. Your health will be restored after restored after restored. Amen. It shall be for you. 
a greater and a wide abundance of blessings for you. I prophesy where they have tied you in the past. That they said that the abundance of what you should receive should be limited. You are going to decree and declare. I am too big to be limited. Amen. Decree and declare. Say, I am too big to be limited. Say, I am too big to be limited. I have abundant faith. Say, my faith is too great to be limited. As my wife would say, she said, I have unlimited faith. Unlimited faith means that nobody, nobody can even touch the, the realm of your, your, your faith. Because it was the faith that kept having the oil poured. Somebody here, wherever they even want to dry, whatever seems to be like a blessing for you, they want to dry it, say in the name of Jesus. Whatever their works may be, it shall be silence. Like the way water touch fire. It shall be calm in the name of Jesus. So shall it be. It will, never, it will never rise up again. So now when you overcome, you need to have the power of your faith. The power of your faith. There is a grace that needs to continue with. The book of Romans 4 verse 16. Book of Romans 4 verse 16. The power of your faith is the grace that God keeps giving you to overcome issues. The power of your faith. When you say, man of God, uh, Papa, I want to overcome. I want to have abundance. But I don't know how, how to get it. Uh, something is going on. You, you begin to talk, 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 talk. And this is not working. This is what the scripture you, you read. It says, that is why it depends on faith. Okay? In order that the promise may be what? May rest on who? Grace. May rest on who? Grace. So if the promise rests on grace... So as long as you have grace, they will never harm you. They can never touch you. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. As it depends on faith, depend on that rests on faith. Rest on faith. My, life my life is anointed. Say, my life is anointed. Life is anointed. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. And what you say, because your life is anointed and it rests by faith, it goes to your children, children, children. That means that you never get to worry about what manner of grace you carry because it already rests on your mother and your father and it rests on you. When it came upon you, it get bigger. Oh, Jesus. When, when, when the grace was on your mom, it was like this. When it entered to your father, it was like this. But when they give birth to you, you, you shift it. Somebody had prophesied. You are shifting levels in grace. You are shifting levels in grace in the name of Jesus. But one thing he says here, he says towards the end, he says, we share the faith of Abraham. So it's nobody other faith that we share. And if we share the faith of Abraham, then we must watch what grace did Abraham receive. God trusted Abraham. He made him go through the struggles of life. Every one of us here has gone through struggle. Either we're coming out of struggle or we're going in it and we're coming out. But one thing that is for sure, every struggle you go into, you come out with a reward. Amen. You will come out with a reward. Amen. Abraham went through the struggle, he came out with the reward. Amen. Every great man, Anna went through the struggle, she came out with the reward. Elizabeth went through the struggle. She came out with the reward. Every person that is in the Bible who are used by God, they go through struggle, but they came out with the reward. I have a prophetic word for somebody here. I said, as I'm going through, I will keep on going through. As I'm going through, I will keep on going through. Said in the name of Jesus, as I'm going through, I will keep on going through. In the name of Jesus. That is somebody's breakthrough there. That is the power of your faith when it comes to abundance. Many of us, when we're looking for abundance, we're looking for God to touch us, to give us a vision. We read earlier that God gave Abraham a vision. That's how he received his abundance. Visitation is very important. But God is always looking for somebody. 
God is always looking for somebody. Book of Ezekiel 22 verse 30. Book of Ezekiel 22 verse 30. Ezekiel 22 verse 30. God is always looking for somebody. There's no seat in the front anymore. They're just putting in the front for now. Yeah, if there's no seat in the back. God is looking for somebody that whom he wants to use. Amen. What does he say? He said, and I sought for a man among whom should build up the wall. God is always looking for somebody whom he can give a vision to. Watch this here. God is always looking for somebody whom he can give responsibility. Praise the living God. You see, we, we, we want to have abundance. Money, cars, family, this, this, that. But there are also responsibility. Do you know what it means to have a house? It's a responsibility. You got to fix lights. You got to fix the washing machine. There. You got to fix other things. And ah, you be, be fixing, 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 fixing. It's responsibility. So if you want to be responsible, you know, this one is going to bless somebody by the grace of God. A few years ago, we were in Greenbelt. If you guys don't wear Greenbelt, just about down the road. And I said, Lord, I want to cut the grass. So I wonder, I went outside and cut the grass. I said, you know, that's when we were renting an apart apartment. And it was like a rent to own place. So I was cutting the grass every, you know, two weeks. I'm over there, zzz, you know, the grass grew like nobody's business every two weeks. So I cut the first, the first two weeks, I cut the grass. Second week, I've done it for almost six months. And I said, Lord, I said, Lord, while I'm cutting the grass, I want to cut the grass of my own house. We didn't catch that. You got to use point of contact. That's how things work. And so I said, I'm going to cut the grass. I said, I'm believing that you will give me my own house that I'll cut the grass. So one day, my wife and I said, we came, we came into a blessing. We, we got a house. When we have the house, guess what I went and bought? A lawnmower. So I cut the grass. And I said to myself, I said, Lord, as I'm cutting the grass, I want to also cut nation's grass. You, you know, that's what I mean right there. Now, I want to buy land. <laughs> and as I'm doing it, I'm doing it all of a sudden. God bless the game with, with that blessing. I say, Hey, this thing work. I said, This I'll call, I'll call a, a man that caught the guy. Let, let him come do like you know, focus on other things. Somebody here, you go from receiving it, you go from increasing in it. You now have hiring people who will do it for you while you occupy other areas. I prophesy the spirit of occupying. Receive the grace to occupy. Amen. Receive the power to occupy. Amen. Receive the mighty grace to occupy. Amen. Let it fall upon you like a blanket in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will occupy. Amen. I say you will occupy Amen. in the name of Jesus. And so when I was caught in that grass, I was, I was thinking all other things. And I came across a, a old comedian. He, he was counting the blessings of people who have passed away. He said, Lord, uh, this one is in jail. He, 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 he can't receive his, 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 uh, his acre of land. Can I have his for, for the family? And he began to count the ones who already passed over. That one, Sister Mary, has gone. Can I have that one's land too? And guess what happened? God bring him in front of a problem. <laughs> clap for Jesus for this one. That's clap for Jesus. I'm about to reveal it to you. Anytime there's a problem, thank God. Anytime there's a problem, thank God. Why? Because the problem shows that you are the solutionist. Don't come to your admission to come find this, the solution. You should find the solution within yourself first. You understand? And when the problem came, there was a man who came before and said, well, I have what you're looking for. All you need to do is ask Matthew 7 7. All you need to do is ask God. When you ask, it will be given to you. But when it's given to you, there's somebody in the way that you must meet. Everything that you're looking for, just ask. But you have to meet people to get it. Even your enemy, you have to meet your enemy to get it. David has to meet Goliath to get it. John has to meet... Oh, come on, talk to me. 
Come on, talk to me. Jesus said, I must meet John to get my access. Elizabeth now was preparing because Mary was on the way to meet. Anything you're looking for in this life, somebody have it. God will not look at it's falling from heaven. I must be like a football player. I must go and run and get, catch it. No, you're not going to catch nothing. Somebody has what you want to catch. Somebody has it. It's up to you to look for somebody that has it. He says, ask, ask. Many people do not ask. It's ask and you will what? You'll be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be open to you. Open to who? Open to who? Open to who? So the more you ask, the more doors are opening. The more you ask, the more people run to you. If I have ideas, I need people who have brains to talk to me. Praise the living God. After today, somebody, your mind is open. It's open for Afamia. It's open for Afamia. In the name of Jesus Christ. But if you understand how that works, look in the book of Job 10, verse 12. God will visit you through visions. Don't take those dreams lightly that God will visit you in. Those dreams that God will visit you are dreams that shows you you're about to come into what God has for you. And let me tell you, don't never feel that in your life when God gives you something, nobody will come and fight you for it. Let me tell you, the more you occupy, the more you have intruders. <laughs> Let that run through your head again. The more you have in this life, the more intruders will come. Why do you think that we need to get good security? We need security. We have security at our door. We have security everywhere. Why? You need to secure what you have. Because the same people in your own family want to touch and take. And then when they try, you say, I'll cut your hands. I will cut your hands if you touch what's mine. You must say it with a with a tenacity. You must say it with a boldness. I'll cut your hands if you touch what's mine. Because when it was yours, nobody said anything. Don't, don't this generation don't play with them more. God is raising rugged prophetess, rugged apostles, rugged sons of God. They are coming up. He says, You have what granted me life and steadfast love. He says, And your what? Your care has preserved my spirit. So God cared for you. He preserved what? So there you say, I like the beginning part. It says you have granted. Granted. Granted me. Any sign in the Bible you see where it says granted me. God said, you know, the Lord has granted me a house. Granted me good health. Granted me a family. Name the granted. Are you understand me? Granted me what belongs to me and they will not watch it. Granted me. He granted me peace. He granted me affamia. You know, I was asking God several months back. I said, you know, why, why do you want me to bring affamia into reality? He said, because the people whom are coming, they need to receive affamia. It doesn't mean that you don't need to receive it. He said, you will hear about it. Eyes have not. But you have heard about it already. It's coming. But the ones who are coming, they have not heard about it. You see Revelation there? Somebody, I pray for you. God's favor will fall upon you in a vision. God's favor will fall upon you in a dream. It was a dream that Joseph was visited by the angel that changed Joseph's mentality. May God visit you and change your mentality. And guess what? Those who have been fighting you secretly, may God visit them in a dream and change their mentality concerning you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, how do you understand what is coming? How do you understand what is coming? In the book of Psalm 126, verse 2. How do you understand what is coming? How do you get to understand what is ahead of you? The only way for you to understand what is ahead of you, you need to leave it unto God. It says here, it says, then, once we go, let's go together, once we go. Uh huh. What happened to you? Guess what? That's your understanding. You, now, you now you are going to begin to shout in your life. But when you're shouting, you're not shouting like regular shouting. 
You're shouting because you're shouting with laughter. You're shouting with laughter. You're shouting with joy. Can, can I tell you something? Stand up for me. You know, I, I need to perform this one according to the will of God. Don't worry, I'm not getting naked in the, in the pulpit. Hallelujah. Some of you are here. Well, once I do it, you understand why. Somebody say amen. No. Amen. No. Good, good, good. You're going to get it. Don't worry. And those of you who have jacket, this is perfect for you. When I, when I, when I do it, you follow. When I do it, you will do what? Follow. Now, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? What does the word say? The word say what? It says, the Lord has done great things for them. Every stress that you face in the beginning of this year, the demons that hang on your mantle, you are going to go like this. I drop them off. They are falling off. They are falling off. They are falling off. They are falling off. Shake them off. Shake them off. Just shake them. Shake them off you. Whatever came upon you in the beginning of the year, that refused to go, shake them off. Shake them off. They will be shaking off. Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, I command every negative word, demonic interference, demonic interference, every demonic interference, powers of wickedness that have interfered in my life. Say, I prophesy, follow, follow for me in the name of Jesus. Say, follow for me. In the name of Jesus. Say, I command you to fall off. I shake you off. To fall off. Every word. Every stronghold. Fall off. Every confusion. Fall off. Every setback. Fall off. Every delay. Fall off. Say, I decree and declare. I am loose. And set free by the power of the Almighty God. Say, I am loose and set free in the name of Jesus. Now, I had to, you know, demonstrate. So you, you thought I was going to disgrace myself in the altar here. We don't do that here. But guess what will happen to your life? Every spirit that be hanging on to your body, every stress. That be hanging onto your body. Somehow you're feeling that is your, your body is becoming lighter. You know why? I need it to be more lighter when you enter to 2024. Amen. You cannot be heavy going to 2024. Amen. Because you need to fight new battles. Amen. And can I prophesy? Amen. The last time I checked, Goliath never came back up to fight again. Yes. So therefore, you will not face the same trouble twice. You will not face the same situation twice. Yeah. Say, I prophesy, I prophesy in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And it will be a divine decree over the atmosphere. Yeah. What I faced last year yeah. and what I faced this year, yeah. I will never face them again. Yeah. I will never face them again. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. You will never face them again. Say it like the way you know. There are times you, you, you say the, the manner of struggle I faced all year long. I cannot face that same struggle again. I cannot face that same stress again. It's not possible that I see the same demon twice. I will not, I will not. And let me tell you, we are in a time where people will fight you twice. But tell them the same way I won the first time. You will fall again twice. You will fall again twice. We are, in, we are in the generation of twos. Okay? We're no longer in you know in the 90s anymore. Where there's one and the increase in with number. We're in twos now. 20, 24. We're going to twos now. So declare. Say the same way I have won in the past. And I won with Jesus. I will win again. I will win again. Every case I win again. Spiritual trials I win again. Anyone that summoned me I win again. Decree and declare. They say I have victory on my head. Say the oil I carry 
a decrease that I will be a winner for life. I will win without sweat. I will win without stress. In the name of Jesus. Somebody will have a testimony after this. <laughs> Watch what he said in the book of Proverbs 20, 28, verse 19. We're still about understanding your affamia, understanding where you're going. Are you understanding me? Understanding where you're going. The book of Psalm 20, 28, verse 19. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. We're looking at 28 verse 19. And the Bible says this, those who work their land will have abundant food. Amen? It says, so whoever work their land will have plenty of bread. Bread is what? Food. So whatever God has given you, the small job that God has given you, thank God for that job. Somebody here, if you don't have a job, God will give you a job. Amen. With the quick, God will give you a job. Amen. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You get a job, not only that, but then are you working that job? God will begin to give you what you need in your life. There will be no lacking in your life. There will be no lacking in your life. Amen. And it says, it says, but he who follows worthless pursuit will have plenty of poverty. Say, poverty is not my portion. Said, I am not among them that pursue worthless things. Said, my life is worthy to pursue passion, to pursue the will of God, to pursue purpose concerning my life, to pursue the future that God has given me. I hear something. I hear something. All the women stand up. High five your neighbor for one minute. Just high five. Just high five. Just high five. Just high five them. Now, 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 now. Tell your neighbor this word. Tell your neighbor this word. Say in 2024. In 2024. Your crown will not fall. Your crown will not fall. Say, say, my sister, fix your crown. My sister, fix your crown. In the name of Jesus. Your crown will not fall. Your crown will not fall. In Jesus' name. That is so. That means that what will make who you are, it will not fall. Amen. Oh, Jesus. What will make you be who you are, it will not fall. Amen. What will make you stand out, it will not fall. Amen. What will make you the blessed woman that you'll be, it will not fall. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want the men to stand up. Let the man stand up. Let the men stand up. Let the men stand up. You're going to declare and declare this. Say, my sword is in my hand. Say, my sword is in my hand. I am a victor. Every place I enter, I'm taking victory. Said, under the grace of David, he never lost a battle. He won every battle. Said, the sword that's in my hand will cut through every dimension and I will take victory. Say, I will take victory. Say, in the name of Jesus, Say, in the name of Jesus, I am carrying the sword of victory. And it shall be with me forevermore. In Jesus' name. Amen. That is for somebody out there. You would not be looked down upon. But, you know, when you, when you now have the deep understanding, you need to walk into what God says you should walk into. The Bible said the kingdom of God suffered violence, but the violence taken by what? There are some things you cannot be soft. You cannot be what? We are in a generation where you cannot be soft anymore. You need to be rugged. You, you understand? Rugged. Your eyes cannot, cannot be like, oh, it's okay. It's okay. Your eyes must be like this. You know it's not okay. You must be rugged. You must go there and say, I'll take by force. My money take it by force. Amen. My children take it by force. Amen. My breakthrough take it by Amen. take it by force. You call it take it by force. You call it as a take it by force. 
for you to that, that means I guess what God is not going to be weak. Where there is force, there's no weakness. Where there's force, there's energy. Where there's force, there's electricity. The, say, say this one. Say, I declare and declare. I declare and declare. 2024. 2024. I will shock them. I will shock them. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Say, I will shock them. I will shock them. They will see it. They will see it. You need to walk into that calling that God is calling you into. But when you're walking into it, mind that people are always going to come to test you. Look what it says in the book of Luke 24, verse 17. In 2024, they will try to test you. They'll try to test you. Because you finally got what they have been crying for God to get. And you are only increasing. You are forever increasing. Amen. You are forever increasing. Amen. Whatever stop you this year or 23 will not stop you 24. Amen. Whatever stop you 23 will not stop you 24. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, you may have received grace when they stopped you. But this time, you are the one carrying the grace. Amen. They use grace to stop you. This time, you're carrying grace to stop them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. And, what say? and he said to them, what is this conversation? What is this, this drama? This drama, this dramatic issue. What is this conversation that you are holding with, with each other as you walk? There's somebody right now behind the scene. They're holding each other's hand. They're plotting how to discourage you. They plot how to put you in the web of lies. The web of manipulation. Say every web of manipulation. Every web of manipulation. Every lies. Every lies. I command it to be cut off. Say, I command to be cut off. I command to be cut off. In the name of Jesus. Set their conversation against me. For what God has prepared for me. I cut off their lineage. I cut off the lineage. I cut the connection. I cut it off. In the name of Jesus. He says, what kind of conversation is this that others are having as you are walking? And they stood and looked sad. They looked sad for what? Because you, you caught them. Oh, Jesus. They looked sad because why? You caught them. You know, when you caught some people, when they're doing something bad, you're like, in 2024, there'll be a lot of sad faces. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 2024, there'll be a lot of sad faces. Their face will be like this. Have you ever tasted sour lemon? <laughs> sour lemon is coming for their life. Amen. When they try God's child, their face will be soured. Amen. They will be soured in the name of Jesus. So when you are walking into what God has for you, they are walking on, but they are walking to talk about you. You to walk to see who they are. Say, my father, my God. My father, my God. Those who are talking negatively about my life. Those who are talking negatively about expose my life. them to me, Lord. Expose them to me. In my dream, expose them. In my dream, expose them. Whatever they are doing against me. To bring me down. Expose their work. You know, when I was when I was younger, my mother used to say, Oh, these people here, they have gone to work against you. Not you know, work as in W O R K, as in W A L K. That means they have gone somewhere. You didn't catch a revelation there. They have gone somewhere, they have walked somewhere to go find information about you. So I'll go and walk out for you. I'll go and walk out for you. If where I'm from, if somebody says about you, you better go into pray. <laughs> Say any leg that move against me, they will be on their knees. Ooh. That's a prophetic word. I hope you hear that one. That means that they, they, they will have to be coming to beg you. They will have to come to do what? To beg. They will be on their knees. And then this is a way of surrendering. They will surrender all that they have done against you. Amen. I put a decree over it. And I speed it up within now to the seventh day. 
there will be rest in your home. Amen. There will be peace in your home. Amen. And those who try you, God will begin to expose them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You walk. <laughs> by fire, by what? You walk. You walk. You walk. Nobody will stop you now. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 11 verse 24. I need to take it to 24. That's why. I'm purpose with the scriptures. I'm purpose with the scriptures. So if you're, if you're hearing 24 a lot, I'm purpose with the scriptures. It is by, it is, it is by design. Praise the living God. It says, every place on which the sole of your feet had tread shall be what? Shall be what? Shall be what? Shall be whose? Shall be whose? Anywhere. Hey, 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 hey. Maybe this one is for you. This one is for you. Anywhere, listen, listen. Anywhere your feet had tread upon, you shall be the owner of that place. Hey, you, 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 you didn't catch a revelation there. I, I know she, I, I know that word was coming for you. Anywhere your feet, as long as your feet tread upon that place, the keys will be handed to you. I said the keys will be added to you. By the divine scripture of the word of God, Asia, woman of God, if I were here, I would stand up. Anywhere your soul have declared, Amen. the keys will be handed to you. Amen. I put a prophetic mandate on it, it shall be handed to you. Amen. And I like to say, if I be a prophet of God, next thing by this time will be quietness. Amen. I prophesy, if I be a prophet of God, that what has been given to you by the revelation of your feet turned upon it, it shall be unto you. Amen. It shall be unto you. Amen. It shall be unto you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Can I prophesy? Yes. Not only it shall be unto you, but the territory is thereof. You, you, you didn't hear that. It says, it says, your territory shall be from the wilderness to what? To another place. To Lebanon. So that means, guess what? From that place where you are called a owner, where your soul of your feet turned upon, this is the prophetic word. God said, I will give it to you, plus those what are around there. Let me tell you, in this life, it's not what you know. It's who you know that spoke the words to you. I'm, I, listen, I've not been doing this for yesterday, oh. Gray hair happening to be popping on my head like lately. I've been, I, you see, my chin. If I show you my chin, my real chin with the real hair, you, you say, Oh, Papa, you're aging. You understand? I prophesy with the grace that been spoken over my life. Everywhere the sole of your feet tread upon, and you have taken dominion in that place, you go back and take dominion. Amen. You go back and take dominion. Amen. You go back and take dominion. Amen. Nothing shall hinder you. Nothing shall hold you down. Nothing shall push you down. You shall take dominion. And I want to prophesy. Nobody will sell it until you sell it. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Nobody will buy it until you get there. I said, nobody will buy it until you get there. In the name of Jesus Christ, as the word of God said. And let me tell you. Let me tell you, there's, there's some things in life, right? Because God marked it for you. But there are some people that want to delay it so that you will not get it. They want to make you go through the wilderness before you get it. Say, I will not get old to ask my blessing. Say, in the name of Jesus. As my feet stop there. Can I prophesy? Perhaps your feet already stepped there in the past. Your feet stepped there in the yes. said, I will go back and claim it. I will go back and claim it. Say, hear, hear me, hear me. Say, the, the dirt on my feet will be the blessing in my hand. In the name of Jesus. Say, my feet will touch blessing. And if you're already there, say, my feet already touch blessing. Say, as for me. I am, I am walking in my abundance. In the name of Jesus. I am walking in my abundance. And the territory thereof shall be for me. Shall be for me. Shall be for me. Shall be for me. And my children children. And my children children. 
in the name of Jesus. You may sit down. You may sit down. You may sit down. It is very important. When God wants to bless you, there are people that will always fight with you now. <laughs> Go look at David's life. David knew what he carried, but then he looked at the people going to fight him. Praise the living God. They will fight you. They have to fight you now. Uh, the, the, to, be, to be blessed is it's, it's to be fought. You didn't know this thing? You think when you're blessed, look at the life of Esau and his brother now. Is it, <laughs> when God blesses you, they're going to fight you. Yes. There was a war in the belly. <laughs> we are in the belly and there's war. War never ends. There is a war between family members. There's war between children. There's war between food. <laughs> There's war between people. <laughs> but guess what? As for you and your household, you are preserved. Amen. As for you and your household, you are preserved. Amen. In the name of Jesus. He said, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said they will send many arrows my way, but they all fall down. Amen. <laughs> they may come at me, all manner of angles, but they will flee for me seven ways. Amen. If they come at me a hundred times, they will flee for me ten ways. I don't care how they go. But one thing the Bible said that they will flee from me. Amen. But wait a minute. They will flee from me. Amen. Me, single me. Individual me. Solo me. Say in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. They may come like, like an army. But they will flee from me. In the name of Jesus. Say I will say a word. And that word will be complete. And that word will be complete. I want you to say this word when I say it. I want to sharply slap your neighbor's hand and say, Jesus. Are you ready? Yeah. Now, don't, don't do it. You just told the moment. Are you ready? <laughs> slap your neighbor's hand like, like you know. Let, see, let your neighbor go like this. Right, right, prepare, just to prepare it. Let's lift it. Are you ready? Yeah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. When they fight against me, I will say one word. If the only word I know to say, the name I only know how to say, the name is Jesus. 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 Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Fire in the house. <laughs> the name is Jesus. So that's that's the, when, when when they say uh, they, they fight and say Jesus. And, and let me tell you, don't say that out loud. Say in your heart, because how will they flee from you? He that is in where yes. must come out and attack them. Yes. People people will hate you because something come out of you. Oh, I feel like I'm in Jamaica right now. Hey. You know? When something is in you, it needs to come out of you to fight your enemy. Hey. Don't talk to me. Don't say Jesus in your heart. Say that. Watch them get confused. It, let me tell you. Let me tell you. It is your anointing making them get mad. Hey. It is your calling making them fall apart. Hey. Ah, there's, some, there's a book called Things Fall Apart. Hey. I prophesy. There are some people that are about to fall apart from you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, they will fall apart from you. Those who have held on to you, they will fall apart from you. Yeah. And I go aside. There will be no error return back to you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, there will be no word return back to you. Yeah. There will be no back to send yeah. When you go out, you go out, you won't come back. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Some people can plan, huh? That's what they, they plan. <laughs> they plan and God say, I'm going to plan too. Yes. 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 <laughs> I've had people plan against my life, man. <laughs> when they plan against my life, <laughs> you let me say, I, I didn't come all the way from Sierra Leone. Go to Virginia. They be sent from Virginia to Minnesota. Then come from Minnesota, come back to Maryland. Wherever they follow me, I disappear. <laughs> I disappear from my family. 
Or you need cash revelation there. You need cash revelation. And you have to disappear for your abundance. Confuse your enemies. Stay 2024. 2024. They will not see my move coming. Say, I will disappear among them. It's not crossover yet, but we're going to cross over. Whenever God wants to do something, He wants to release an anointing because. Hi. Hi. Stand up. Just stand up. Just stand up. You just stand. Just stand up. So just stand to hear the word. Every time a blessing comes into a family, demons to rise up. Hear the scripture. Mark 6, verse 13. And they cast out many demons and anointed with oil many who were sick and healed them. Every time you are about to get a breakthrough. Don't look outside and begin to pray. Look inside to begin to pray. The devil will never look outside against you. Because you're trying to go outside. The Bible said the book of Amos 3.7. Don't stand up. Amos 3.7. I'm feeling the anointing. Amos 3.7. God will always release the secret to the prophet. You understand? It says, for the Lord has, the Lord does nothing without revealing his secret to what? To his servant, the prophet. Every time something big is coming to your life, God will reveal it to the prophet. Then it now enters into your family. Once the prophetic word came, there are people too that try to hijack the prophecy. But remember, they will try to hijack the prophecy, but the blessing will still come. The blessing will still come. The blessing will still come. When the blessing come, you think it was easy for Joseph to receive all that blessing in front of his brothers? The reason why I want you to stand up, you posted the coat of many colors, and then you did not know that God was trying to tell you that you need to wear your own colors. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You can't teach them if you yourself have not received it. And, and she wrote the story, but she forgot that the fight is coming. <laughs> okay, you understand when, you, when I finish with this message. So whenever something big is coming in your life, it comes to shift an atmosphere. It comes to shift a generation. It comes to shift a people. And let me tell you, God will not pick other person. God will pick you. And let me tell you, when God picked you, he will look at the ones who have had answered to that calling before. It is that person that will introduce you. She knows what I'm talking about now. It's making sense to her head. Now, when that person began to introduce you, it was, it was, it was Elizabeth that needed to introduce who? Mary to pregnancy. Because Mary was now receiving the prophetic word. But there was somebody who was pregnant already. Where you are going, somebody already went there. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Then we look at now John the Baptist. John the Baptist has been in the wilderness. But now where do you even need to go? He needs to go to the wilderness to be tempted. So he needs somebody that already done the work, who understands the system. There was a spiritual conversation that was done by John the Baptist with Jesus. So when he went to the wilderness, he knew what to say. I prophesy. The battle you're facing, you know what to say. Amen. Say it, and the battle will be over. Amen. The battle you're saying, going through right now, say it, and it will be over. Amen. There is a prophetic word you need to say. Say it, it will be over. No matter what they do, they cannot override you. Amen. They cannot overthrow your grace. Amen. They cannot override your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. they will not be able to. You know why? Because it's already done that somebody introduced you. For you to enter a realm, someone must introduce you. Oh, are you understanding me? Yes. For you to go to 24, someone must have seen 24. A 
but we're all entering. We are, we're not going with our hands like this and our hands. We are going with a style and grace. We are going with abundance. And we are entering with noise. In the name of Jesus. Are you understanding me? So, whenever God wants to bless you, someone must introduce you. They must introduce you. You know what they mean for people introduce you? Everybody's so jealous. My wife and I went to Minnesota a couple of months ago. When I was being introduced as an archbishop, hey, come see my son, the archbishop. Come see my son, the archbishop. Come see all the people who are soured. They never thought say, a black young boy like me will be called an archbishop under 40. They were shaking. I prophesy, you will enter a spiritual realm at a young age. Yeah. And you will be walking it dignifiedly in the world in the name of Jesus Christ. You will walk in it without stress. You will walk in it without, without stress and without all manner of problems. Amen. And you will carry the grace because you make it easy. Amen. I said you will carry the grace without any stress. Amen. And you will make it easy. Amen. You will make it easy. Amen. And God will answer you. I say, every word you say, God will answer you. Amen. Every word you say, God will answer you. Amen. Every word you decree, God will answer you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. So, whatever you're looking for, somebody is working in it. And let me tell you, it takes a grace carrier to introduce a grace carrier. That's why when I see these people be playing... They want to be there and say, listen, I was there. But you must know the game to know how to play it. <laughs> you must know the game to know how to play it. You think, you think, you think you're married to a prophet, they will not fight you. The fact that you're married to a prophet, they have to fight you. Because they know that your prophet will see. And they will even tell you not to tell your prophet because they know your prophet will see their game. So in this life, it's who introduced you that is more important. And let me tell you, the last time I check, God says, say, I'll send your helper. Then I'll send helpers. <laughs> God will send the helper, which is the Holy Spirit. Then he will send helpers. There are spiritual helpers and there are physical helpers. I prophesy your spiritual helper will land in your life. I prophesy your physical helper will land in your life. In the name of Jesus. There is a helper coming. There's a helper coming. There's a help. You see, when, when David was throwing his, his, his rock, he thought he was by himself. Then he felt the power behind him. Then he looked at the spiritual realm. He said, look at all these angels. They're all here to fight the battle. The, 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 the soldiers that were standing behind Goliath, they did not run because David Throw the stone and he got them. They ran because of the city angels behind David. When they saw the army behind David, they all had to run. I prophesy, the people who are behind you for the last 10 years up to this date, when they now see who is coming to rescue you, they will fall away. They will fall from you. They will fall away. They will run away. They will run from you. In the name of Jesus. So, you have to understand. And it's a principle that cannot be changed. Even in the level of academia, when it's time for you to receive your degree, they brought someone to come give a speech who have either worked in that realm. And now they brought now the, the, the staff. And the staff must be held by somebody who's a professor. If they say become a professor, that means they have gone to the same academia level. And that professor must now walk with that staff and bring it for the ceremony to open. So therefore, it is the staff carrier that is opening the realm. So therefore, it was Moses that opened the Red Sea for the people to be set free. I come in the name of Jesus under the anointing of Moses to prepare you for crossover. Amen. To prepare you for crossover. Amen. Prepare you for crossover. Amen. I open the realm for you to cross over. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Stand up, stand up for me as we go into prayer. Stand up, stand up for us to go into prayer. Mazuka talaba siya dede. 
bezedu buye kalaba doasa rada da basia katalaba ne there's some battles you will not fight by your own someone was introduced to a realm of fire a realm of power a realm that you never seen before mosanda ni me usande thank you jesus libalaga sande di biakwa beren sori mi handa la basiande begin to thank god right now for the word which you heard the word which you just heard thank the lord right now thank the lord for the word which you just heard thank him right now you heard a word there's a word that that and and and, and the word came upon me and the spirit fell upon me and the spirit of the lord fell upon me his word caused my feet to stand up mazada da baragatala bezuze ketekuba and the spirit of the lord fell upon me and the word became life the word became life the word became life that what he has spoken he will bring it to pass that what he had decreed will come to pass he had come to pass mazaku zevele ikaswade meldel duwabare yakata the word of the prophet will come to pass for the lord that god does nothing but to reveal to his prophet does nothing but to reveal to his prophet does nothing but reveal to prophets decree say my father my god in the name of jesus as i prepare for 2024 in few hours my lord my father reveal to me my promise reveal to me my goal reveal to me the dream Reveal to me, O oh God, me, by signs and wonders, signs and wonders according, to according to your word that you declared that my children, that my children are, made for signs and wonders. are made for signs and wonders. Let it be for me. Be signs, and for signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. And Pele Bele Bele Gale Gade, Rando Riba Kapala Balagade, Mazida da Barre Kalabaragadua, and Pele Bele Bele Gade, Le Tula Mazala Baragade, Le Palimia la Baswada la Barriagada, E Pelibia la Basada Baragade, Mazada la Barria Kalabaragade, E Yambazu Mazadina Mazada, E Yamazuda Maragada Nagada, Red de Besulebia la Balagada, Le Palimia la Baswada de Via Kapaya. Mendalu Sandula Bakata and Pelimina Nala Basula La Baragade and Rende de Besedege in Pelibia Calabade Aya Paya Labade Mandazuka Tata to Zepa Regade and Pelibia Caparacata Sada Le Pelibia La Baragada Le Telibia La Bacata Mezedeberia Cadaba Manzanda da Baria Cata Tenda la baso ni biya kata la baya. Erre de ne bezi ya la bade. Le peli ya balagada. Azaduza lama. Azaduza lama. Azaduza. 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 Erre ndo rama zekete. Empele bele gade. Empele bele gade. Empele bele bede. Empele bele gade. Empele bele bede. Empele bele bede. Empele bele bede. Empele bele bede. E Rea Kadabaragari. Release the word. Release the word. Let the Lord reveal it to you. Reveal it to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The Bible says that say God will give us plenty. There are areas in your life you never have plenty. There are areas in your life you're lacking. There must be plenty. It's okay to receive plenty. As long as you're willing to share. Hello? You have to have plenty. We're going to declare this word. Any curse that be following me. Any curse that be following me. I command it to break loose from my body. I command it to break loose from my body. Anyone that pronounce a curse over my life. Anyone that pronounce a curse over my life. And those words are working against me. And those words are working against me. Stopping my progress. Stopping my progress. Blocking my breakthroughs. I command the loose in the spirit. I command free in the name of Jesus. I command the ways are free in the name of Jesus. Every highway and byway be free in the name of Jesus. Concerning my life, I command to be free in the name of Jesus. 
begin to pray, begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray, begin to pray. Kado sada baragada, elebe sula balaba laga sala baragadela, erina do baza galaba. I command the ways, the ways, the ways, the ways. Let my life be open. 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 In the name of Jesus, let my life be open. Let my life be open. In the name of Jesus, let my life be open. Mazona na mazedila, erende le bezilaba, erando ri amakade. Let my life be open. Let my life be open. Let the door be open. Let my life be open. Every tightness against my life, every word of a curse against my life, let my door be open. Let my door be open. Let my door be open in the name of Jesus. Let my door be open. Mazala balagada, rede de beri balagada, lipa la balagadea, ella bela bela gada. In Jesus' name, we pray. This next prayer, you're going to decree and declare. I will walk in my testimony. I will walk in my testimony. This is very important. You can't declare something and you don't see the testimony. That's like saying that you plant a seed and you never see the fruit of it. You must see the fruits coming, the tree coming alive and the fruits coming alive. Say, I will walk into my testimony. I will walk into my testimony. And I will enjoy my testimony. And I will enjoy my testimony. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In 2024. In 2024. As I'm walking there now. As I'm walking there now. I will taste my testimony. I will I will enjoy my testimony. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare it. So shall it be. So shall it be. So shall it be. In the name of Jesus, begin to claim it and declare it. Claim it and declare it. Claim it and declare it. I will walk in my testimony. 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 Madaluza Baragade. Regaza Buragada. Iparabaze Ketelegade. Rekosida Baragalebe. Li Paliama Paraga Sula Baragade. Rekeze Ketelebelegade. Iparando Rima Katayaba. Ereto Zimara Katalebe. Iperima Rabasa Talabaya. Epre Sura Bakata. Epali Baragade. Le Telebelebosiade. Ria Katalabasia Kapaya. Ereda de Besse de Biapaya. Impelia Baparagade. A red de best where the Maragade, Le Palabaragade, Le Peliba la Baragadea, Ambaru Zalabandi, Ambaru Zalamandi, I Peliba Labade. I will give a testimony in the name of Jesus. Your testimony will be louder than ever before. Your testimony in the name of Jesus will be louder than ever before. Amen. There will be no limitation for you. Amen. There will be no limitation for you. Amen. You will testify from January going all the way to December. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now, this last prayer is a personal supplication prayer. You are praying for somebody else. Pray for your sister, pray for your brother, pray for your family, pray for somebody. Pray for your own life. Cover yourself in the blood of Jesus Christ. Pray. Release that prayer now. Release that prayer now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. We give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. Oh, you perform me. Father, you move, you move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracle. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall with your power. You perform miracles. You move. You cause walls to fall with your power. Mazala baze gedelebe. Holy Spirit, I ask in your name that you may rest upon people. Rest upon your children. Rest upon your children. Rest upon your children. Rest upon your children. Holy Spirit, rest upon your children. Let your fire rest upon them. Protect them all throughout the year to come. Cover them in the blood. Cover them. I cover them. I cover them. I cover them. I cover them to prosper. I cover them to prosper in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Let every struggle be shifted. Let every hard, hard, hard emotion be shifted. Let the spirit of heaviness be shifted. Be shifted. Be shifted. Be shifted. Every heartache, every mental, emotional pain be shifted. Every poverty, hardship be shifted. Be shifted. Be shifted. Mazala balagadia. Melaba sotoria kataba. Eribas huze melegadua. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Which are. Here we go. Oh, you move, you move. You cause war. Hey, with your, with your power. With your power. Here we go. You move mountains. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You cause war to fall. With your power. You cause war to fall. Mezo do riba kapa ya kapa kikorobo si karabandi ila la ba ya baraga de. Thank you, Jesus. You perform miracles. Just lift your hands. Lift your hands. Anyone that is in this side here that's getting that that spirit of migraine right now, the Holy Spirit is going to touch you. For that migraine to go right now by the stretch of my hand, Holy Spirit, let that migraine leave that body now. Leave that body now. Let the migraine be gone from that body. Let the migraine be gone from that body. Right now, that spirit of limitation that is in the middle over here, I command that spirit of limitation to go. That is blocking your life. Limitation. There will be no more limited. You are not limited anymore. You are unlimited. You are unlimited. You are no longer limited. You are, you are no longer held back. You are now moving forward. I pray for you now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for the destiny, the grace of renewed destiny upon this side. Let God continue to renew his destiny plan. That like anointing rests upon this family here. I pray for that, this family here. It's an anointing of destiny, 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 where, where God will raise, will raise each family member to greater heights. Family to greater heights. Let that anointing come now. Holy Spirit, I break every curse upon this family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let that anointing come right now. Holy Ghost, touch right now. Rest upon the family. Rest upon the family right now. Right now, every hindrance, every spirit of bewitchment, blockage, backwardness, I release fresh grace upon this family. 
I wish first God for this family in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for this side. I decree and declare right now, wherever you have gone before, you have not gotten access granted. I pray now, access granted. Access granted. Access granted. Access granted. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Somebody, I want to shout 2023 in a count of three. When you shout it, say congratulations. Are you ready? One, two, three. 2023. Congratulations. You know why you need to say that? Because you finish it. Congratulations. You finish it. Did you, did you finish 24? Did you finish 24? Why would you say congratulations? Have you entered? You finished 23. Amen. So congratulations to you. Amen. Congratulations to you. Amen. Do me a favor. Tell your neighbor. Say neighbor, congratulations. Neighbor, congratulations. congratulations. Congratulations to you. In Jesus' name. We may sit down. Let's sit down. Let's sit down. Those are the Sabi people. They want to rush. You have not entered the promised land. You want to say congratulations by entering the promised land. Unless you're living in China somewhere or other country that's already entering. And they will enter in a few hours. Amen. Some of you, as you, as you go home, you want to sleep and you wake up and say, let's go back to the church. <laughs> it's almost done. It's almost done. You know, it's only in December that is, the run run is this heavy. Amen. Amen. So, okay, let's let's quickly go to our tithe and offering, whatever God has put not to your heart right now. Let's go to our tithe and offering. Let's go to our tithe and offering. For those of you who have gone through the Shalom's week, do a Thanksgiving seed. Let's give it that Thanksgiving seed. Just thank the Lord. Say, the Lord, this is my Thanksgiving seed. I have gone through the Shalom week. I've gone through the Shalom week. Be, be it that you watch it online or you, you're here, whatever it may be, say thank you, Father. This is my thanks, my, my thanksgiving seed for this whole Shalom's week. My thanksgiving seed. And for those of you who are who are who are giving, if you're giving online through the, the Cash App system, put their thanksgiving seed. Put their thanksgiving seed. Say, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for what you have done. For those of you who are giving your tithe, just put that your tithe. Just put, is it your glasses? Well, it was it was actually over there, but they put it over there. We thought that was hers. Yeah, praise the living God. Hallelujah. I think Joseph will try to give it to you. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. I want you, when you give your offering and your tithe, whatever you want shifted, it will be, it will be done secretly. Speak to your seed. If it's your phone, just hold the phone and talk. Talk to God. There's something that you want shifted. It, there's something will be done secret, it must not be revealed. It will be done secret. Shift it. So I command it to shift. Speak in your heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. We may now come and give our offering. Amen. We'll come give our offering now. Wherever you are, if you have a physical one, just put it here. If you have your physical envelope, just come and put it there. Hallelujah. Don't forget, we're meeting here. Mama, is it 9, 9, 10? 9 o'clock? 9.30? All right. So don't forget, we're meeting here at 9.30. Come look fine. Hallelujah. Me, I'll come look shaved. Praise the living God. This is what happened. I didn't shave for a whole week. The grays will begin to come back. Praise the living God. Hallelujah. All right. So don't forget, it's what? 9.30. All right. And, and by the way, it's, it's not going to be on, on the recording online at 9.30. You will never see us record. Listen, your praise and worship is never on record. So it's a secret thing. You must do it here. And so you, you come after the praise and worship is already done. The word of God is coming. The word of, no, the word of God doesn't even matter. It's the, it's the worship. Come and worship your creator. Amen. Some of you are too lazy. <laughs> you say, ah, wait, I think they're coming online. By the time they come online, I'll be driving. No, don't do that. That's lazy. Get from your house already. Amen. Get from where? And come. And come. And come. Do we have any visitors? I know we have visitors. Welcome. What is your name? Welcome. Fatima Tawali. 
Yes, welcome. What is your name? H.O. What's your name? Benok. Welcome. What's your name? Koba. Welcome. Oma. What's your name? Bon. Welcome. So, where, where are you guys are from? Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Live in Baltimore. I think I've seen this family before. Yeah. Okay. Yes. In Minnesota. Yes. Um, you know, but a Friday. That my friend that I, I grew up with. These are these people. You guys are welcome. Wasn't I, wasn't I talking about it like this week or something? When I was giving my testimony? Yeah. I used to. Huh? And you were watching the live too? Look, look at that. See? Tell your testimony. The people who you test, you'll come. Amen. Amen. I used to go around, um, uh, you know, uh, Minnesota praying for the Anwak people. You guys are Anwak, right? Okay. They're my family. You're my family. You're welcome. This is your house. Amen. Amen. Yes. I've never, every house you go to, there's an Anwak family house. Listen, the Nigeria is never dry, it's always prepared. That one, there is, you, ne you never go hungry in that place. Uh -uh. It, man, thank you, Jesus. I must confess that one. I like food. <laughs> so, so we thank God for that. Amen. They're good people. I want, I want just, to, we're going to pray for her and we're going to pray for them as well. It's always a blessing when we get visitors in the house. So, my dear, stand up. Fatima Tagawali. Okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's stretch your hand towards her. Pray against truck truck collage collusion. Collusion. Something I see, I see that in either it already happened or it's trying to come. So we're gonna we're gonna override this when you guys just pray. Pray. Pray that God, God will bring a, a, there's a man that wants to come, but she's not liking the man. But pregnancy will come. And that is the husband. That is the husband. There's a husband that already arrived, but she's, she's not liking. Pray that God will make every uh, confusion clear. Because mm. they say the reason why she's not liking because it's a spiritual battle even in her own bloodline. Every woman that is married is confused and they're not happy in marriage. We want to break that curse. Pray. Pray for her. Pray that every academical system that she follow into, she will go back to finish. Pray for her. Pray for her. Pray for her. In Jesus' name. Can I talk to you? Okay. Now, I see three things, okay? The first thing I saw in the realm of the spirit is like a truck coming into your vehicle. Is this already happened already or no? Huh? So we need to pray against this, okay? This is, will not be good. Collusion, right? You say collusion, right? Collusion, collusion okay. So now this is where two, uh, your, the, um, the way I see the vision, it is the truck is coming and then you hit. All right? So we need to come against the impact, all right? And that God will wake you up. And I'm praying that wherever you're coming from, there'll be a, a red light before you even get to that place. All right? So, because in the realm of the spirit, as she was coming, she will come through. No, there's a green light. She just come and pass. So we're declaring that where she's coming from, red light. There will be a divine stop. Then she'll even stop there too. And be me, I'm praying you get distracted. Amen. Because I don't want to tell you what I'm seeing. So I'm praying that you'll be distracted. Amen. When you're stopped, something will fall, something will happen. Where you, you stop, you, you park the car, you, you try to get something. Amen. And that moment will pass you. Amen. That cloud will pass you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I saw you removing your ring. You understand? I don't know if it's an engagement or something. But I saw you remove the ring and then you put it on the table. Then you walk away. Have you been engaged? I pray for you. Huh? Maybe I'm getting to that. 
you're getting to that. Okay. I pray for you. Where you're heading is the right place. You will not say goodbye to your blessing. Amen. Are you understanding me? I pray you will not say goodbye to your blessing. I see Jacob coming. Are you understand what I'm saying? Because in the realm of the spirit, it's like the enemy calls people in your family to lose children. Precisely boys. You understand? God is sowing your womb to hold children. So I come against any curse of children dying prematurely. I come against the spirit of, of stillbirth. In the name of Jesus. Did you, did, did you get let go from your work? You need to pray fervently. Hmm? Who is Teresa? You don't know Teresa. There's a lady, she's like dark in complexion. You understand me? I'm seeing her coming close to you. Be careful who hugs you all the time. You understand? It's okay to be friendly, but you need to watch the kind of people you you embrace, especially in the place of work. Are you understanding me? Because I saw this person trying to come into hug, and it's like the manipulation, like, you know, when people hug you, they speak things over your ear, and she's speaking things over her ear. You understand? I pray the blessing of God will never leave you, Amen. will never depart from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I don't know why I keep seeing a boat. Are you trying to go on a boat or cruise? She keeps saying maybe. I don't maybe hear what I see is what I tell you. I need to pray for you for what I see. Because in the realm of the spirit, I see the, the boat is being tied and held by the angel. Which means that you should not go. Are you understanding me? Because when you go, you waste money. Then when you come back from that, that cruise, you'll be crying again. How will I make this? How will I make this? Don't go. Save your money. If you already bought tickets, sell the tickets again. God bless you. Please, Mama, stand up. Everybody stand up. Let's, let's pray for them. Let's pray for them. They, they said they were watching the, the, the program. You see why it's important? You, you, don't, you don't even share. See your life. Who share here? Raise your hand. May God bless your hands. Amen. May God bless your hands. We want to pray for them. They're special people. They are filled with the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I can feel it. We want to pray for them that, especially the, the, young, the young boys, that God will open them up. Amen. Open them up. Yes, we'll pray for the daughter too. But it's like God wants to do wonders with these two boys. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the angel bringing a white cloth and he's covering them. That means that he has an assignment. God has an assignment for them. Yes. And, and because that assignment, they will never be touched in any wickedness. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. They will never, they will never see wickedness. Amen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And they will mature. You know, you know, you know how the Bible says, say how Jesus grew with stature. He grew because he became a man and began to grow, just to grow. I pray. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for this young man that in the name of Jesus, stretch your hand towards them, that the Spirit of God will cover them. It will protect them. The eyes of the wicked will never see your lives. Amen. And I decree you will grow to old age. Amen. And God will prosper the both of you. He will bring you out of the wilderness of your father's house. Then he will lead you to begin to flourish. He will lead you to begin to flourish. I pray for the both of you that you will not forget your mother's family. I pray that the house that both of you have, you will increase in it to your, for your mother. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see, I see books being opened before you. And the Bible said, it said there was a scroll that is open before me. And as these books were open before you, God said he revealed his secrets to the both of you. He will reveal the secret to both of you. It's almost like I'm seeing myself standing in the, in the mountain and I'm seeing Elijah and I'm seeing Moses and I'm seeing these two men of great anointing. 
I speak fire of the Almighty God to begin to cover the both of you. I pray that everywhere you go, the anointing of God will never depart from you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will bring favor unto you. It will bring blessings unto you. In Jesus' name. Stretch your hands towards the daughter. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Stretch your hand towards her. Release God's blessing. I pray for her now. I pray that in this season, the blessings of God that have been prepared and released unto you, I hear the Spirit of God said, I'm giving her a mountain-moving faith. Amen. A mountain-moving faith. Amen. Where she will solve riddles. She will solve issues. She will solve problems. I see issues with technology. I see you solving issues with technology. God said, I will give you divine focus in a divine mind. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord said, where there was a struggle in the past, there will not be a struggle again. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord said, keep climbing the steps that you already saw that I gave unto you in a dream. That I gave unto you in a dream. I see a step before me, and the Lord said, this is the dream that I've shown her that, that she will walk, that she will walk and she will climb. And that she will climb. That means that she will never lose a battle. Amen. She will never lose a battle. Amen. I speak in your lifetime. There will be a doctor behind you or in front of you, excuse me, in front of you in the name of Jesus Christ. There will not be any issue with health, but there will be a doctor in front of you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree they will address you in a manner that you never thought before. I pray for your eyes. In the realm of the spirit, I see you holding your eyes. I pray that God will begin to touch your eyes for visions. Amen. In the name of Jesus, God will begin to address you and strengthen you this season. As you, as you move from one academical university, I pray you will find favor. You will find favor whereby things will be given to you. Things, scholarship will be given to you Amen. in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Stretch your hands towards the mother. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards the mother. That God will lift the mother up. You know, she's a prayer warrior. You know, she reminds me of Anna. You know, God said, God said, there's an Anna grace upon her life. Anna Grace. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Father, we ask for more strength. We ask for divine strength that in this season, she will not get tired. Amen. And Lord, every issue around her stomach and her upper chest, every, every issue in the upper chest concerning pain and cold, we command it to melt in the name of Jesus. We command it to melt in the name of Jesus. Amen. We command it to melt in the name of Jesus. Amen. We decree nothing will hinder her. We decree that she will live a long life she will enjoy the fruit of her labor in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you all. God bless your family. Amen. I like telling my story. People don't, when I tell my story, they think it's like, it's, it's made up. It's not made up. Oh, the ones who know my story, they know. It's real. It's real. You have to go through it. When God is raising you up sometime, you go through the pain. You understand? You go through the pain. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You go through the pain. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Who got the back pain here between the three of you? One, two, three. Who's dealing with the back pain in the center here? Huh? You felt it? Yeah, but is it still there? No. I saw I saw like the angel pulling a a knife like but it's like a um, plastic, long plastic. It was like a knife way from the back. So come. Father, in the name of Jesus, I remove it. I remove it. In the name of Jesus, let that pain, that sharp pain, be gone. Be gone. Uh -huh, it goes anointed. Be gone. Take it. Take more. 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 God is with her. Here you go. Fire! Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. No longer stay in that position. That wicked plan of the enemy to delay you. To delay you, to cause you to have asthma. I come again, the spirit of asthma. Go, 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 go from this body. Go from this body. Go from this body. You spirit of asthma. Go, go, go. In 
in the name of Jesus. Go. Thank you, Father, for that healing. For the healing now. The healing now. The healing now. Check your back for me. Huh? You first to come out of your back. You think sometimes that's what God do. He addressed the area of the, of the problem. Well, who had the traffic light issue? Who had the traffic lights? I'm seeing between the four of you here. Traffic lights. We pray in the name of Jesus that you will find favor. In the court case, we will find favor. Every car issue that stepped before him, he will find favor in the name of Jesus. When you go home, hmm, you know those rope that they, they tie for nooses, noose, you know noose for suicide. Tie it and loose it. Are you understand what I'm saying? The rope that they used to tie for suicide, people do suicide. Tie it and loose it. There will not be anybody dying in your family Amen. from the spirit of suicide. Amen. When you go home, before you even sit down to get water, find a rope. Find a rope. Even if it's a cloth that you have, rip the cloth, create it, and then loose it. You have to sit down and loose whatever spirits of suicide that, that the enemy have released. We override in the name of Jesus. And for everybody here, including myself and our family, we shut it down in the name of Jesus. Amen. We shut it down in the name of Jesus. Amen. There will be no blood waste, no life waste, no soul waste in the name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. We're going to go now. Time is already up. Amen. Mm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I want to pray for one, one, one more person. There's a spirit of like not able to surrender in the place of prayer. Every time that you're trying to pray, you feel like there's like heaviness. Like you, you are praying, but it's like you're not affected like the way you're affected. This happened, happened last week. You were sitting down like this. This is the living room. There's a chair, there's a that's a like a big chair. You're sitting there, you're not watching TV. You're, there's like a window right on the side here. And you start to pray, but then you could not force, you could not push forward. You tried again, you could not push forward. Come on, I need to pray for you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Say, I decree and declare. In the name of Jesus, that spirit that come to hinder my prayer, today go. Say, I command you to go. In the name of Jesus, I command you today to go with the authority of God. In the name of Jesus, say, go. 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 Father, in the name of Jesus, let us pray. Go. Out of her. Out. 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 Go. Go. Out. Go. Go. In the name of Jesus. That spirit will mention you. Go from me. Go from you. Go from you. That spirit that come to hinder your prayer life. Now you're going to leave her. Leave her now. Leave her now. Leave her now. Spirit of the living God, let the grace be given to your daughter now. Give it to your daughter now. Let it be. Huh? Take it. Take it. Take it. Take the grace. Take the grace. Take the grace. Yep. Take it. Take it. More is pouring out. More is pouring out. More is pouring out. More is pouring out. In Jesus' name. Take. 
you begin to have a good prayer life in Jesus' name. I cover both of you in the blood of Jesus. God bless you. All right, let's stand up and just thank God. Say thank you, Father, for what you did this whole year. Thank you, Father. What you did last month. Thank you, Father, for what you did this month. Say thank you, Father, for what you did last week. Thank you, Father, for what you did this week. Thank you, Father, for what you did yesterday. Thank you, Father, for what you have done today. And thank you, Father, for what you will do next year. I give you praise for next year. Thank you for what you have done so far in my life. To you be all the glory. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go in peace. I will see you in the evening. Amen. Oh, yes. Please, if you have your keys here.